The Rouge River watershed has changed drastically over the past 200 years, and this has had major consequences for the animals that live there. Historically, this area was home to the Blanding's turtle, which is currently a federally endangered species. In the 1990s, fewer than 10 adult Blanding's turtles were found in the area that is now the Rouge National Urban Park, which is not nearly enough to support a healthy population. As a result, our Head Start program began. Partnering with Parks Canada, over 100 hectares of habitat restoration began to ensure nesting and foraging habitats for these turtles and other native species since 2015. Since the program's inception, over 500 Blanding's turtles have been released into the wild, and 56 more were released today. But what happens before they're released? Each June, egg collection is conducted in stable source populations in Ontario. They are then in the zoo's care for the next two years to give them a head start in life. Each clutch, the name given to a group of eggs, is incubated for about two months to ensure proper development and that they're not predated by predators prior to hatching. Our team carefully monitors each of the eggs collected until they hatch. Their average size is about as big as a loony and their average weight is around 9 grams. Keeping the turtles in captive care for the first two years of life shields them from predators and Canada's harsh winter weather. They spend the first year of life in the Americas Pavilion where you can visit them and their second year in the zoo's wildlife health center. Their enclosures are filled with vegetation and areas to bask under lights to get adequate sun exposure. That provides both heat and UV rays that enable them to metabolize their diet, notably calcium, to grow a strong and healthy shell. Once they're two years old, these juveniles move to the wildlife health center's outdoor enclosures to acclimate to the elements. They are fed three times a week with a diet from our nutrition team they still need to hunt or find the food on their own to encourage behaviors and instincts that will be required in the wild. Each year, around June 21st, National Indigenous Peoples Day, this marks the ninth consecutive year of releases into the Rouge River watershed as part of this Head Start program. Our work doesn't stop after release day. Not only do we repeat the two-year process again for future releases, but some of the released turtles were fitted with tiny devices for our field technicians to track and monitor them in the wild habitats. We record their measurements, weight, and location, including how much each turtle has moved since it was last checked. We also record information on the area it's in to identify preferred habitat features. We note each turtle's behavior, if it's swimming, hiding, or basking, and if we can see it, we record if it has any injuries or other health concerns. We also note the weather to see how environmental factors like temperature, precipitation, and climate change play a role in the turtle's behavior. In identifying habitat use, survival rates, and behavior patterns, the teams are able to see if there are any needs that aren't being met and work with partners to act accordingly. Over 500 turtles have been released into Rouge National Urban Park through this program since June 2014 in an effort to save the species. Since the program's inception, we have seen successful year-after-year -year hibernation in the wild. Our goal is to have a robust population of older and younger cohorts to reproduce and once again become a self-sustaining population.